Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has accepted the end integers as the input, then the program is print the sum of n integers after certain modifications. So the modifications are if so first let be x be the number so if x is an even number then we have to sort the digits except the unit digit in descending order and add to sorry before that we have the else that is else so if it is an odd number then we have to sort the digits except unit digit in ascending order So first we are getting the n integers, then we must print the sum of n integers after certain conditions. So the conditions are, so let x be the number. So if x is an even number, should sort the digits except unit digit in descending order. Else we should sort the digits except the unit digit in ascending order. Now let us take our first test case. So here we have four integers. So in this integer, this is an even number. So first we will sort the numbers in descending order, except the unit digit. Then take our second number. Here we will sort them in ascending order as it is an odd number. Then we'll concatenate the unit number unit digit now this is also an odd number so we'll print them in ascending order and concatenate the unit digit so here zeros can be removed now in this number it is an even number so it must be sorted in descending order so we'll have the same now our output will be the sum of these numbers after modifications. So the sum is 4254. Now let us take our second test case. Here we have seven integers. So the first number is an odd number. So we'll sort them in ascending order. So it is 2, 3 and concatenate the unit digit. Then we'll have uh, 84 which is an even number. We have only one number so we'll print that. Then we have 55. Then we have 67 which will be the same. Then we have 901. So this is an odd number so we'll sort them in ascending order except the unit digit so 0 can be removed then 826 is an even number so it must be sorted in descending order so yeah then we have 230 which is an even number so it must be sorted in descending order now our output will be 
the sum of numbers after modification. So the sum is 1674. Let us implement our program. First, we'll get the number of integers. Then we'll get the array of numbers in the form of string so that it will be easy for manipulations. Then we'll run the for loop for index in range n. So now we'll have a variable called the except unit where we will have the other digits except the unit digit. So we have used this slice operator. Then we will have the unit digit here. Then after that, if the int of unit digit modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0, that is if it is an even number, then the other digits should be sorted in reverse order, that is in descending order, else they must be sorted in ascending order. So we'll have this. Then our result would be the array of index will be replaced by, we'll join the except unit so we'll join the except unit and concatenate the unit digit and so we have done with our modifications so after that we'll print the sum of ARR so first we'll get the number of integer and we'll have the array of numbers in string format then we'll run a for loop where we have the other digits except the unit digit in except unit then we will have the unit digit separately then we'll check for our condition that is if it is an even number then it must be sorted in descending order so we have reversed them then if it is an odd number it must be sorted in ascending order so after that the array of index will be first converted into int and we will use the join where we will join the except unit and concatenate the unit digit. Here why we have used join is the sorted function will separate each character in the except unit into separate things. So we have used this join. So at last we will print the sum of ARR. Now let us execute our program. First we will run our this case. So here we have got the correct output as discussed in our logic video. Then we will run our second test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.